Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we'll continue with our Form 1 Biology lesson. And today uh, we are going to discuss uh, the cell structures and their functions. Uh, the previous lesson we learned about the various structures or the various cell structures as observed under an electron microscope and also as observed under a light microscope. So we are going to look at those structures in more details. So cell structures and their functions. Uh, the first thing that uh, we, we will mention here is that uh, the structures inside the cell are referred to as organelles. So we have various organelles within, within the cell. So we are going to look at uh, the following. Number one, we'll start with the cell membrane. And this is the outermost membrane of an animal cell is the outermost membrane of an animal cell. It is also found in plant cells. It's also found in plant cells, though in the plant cells it's not the outermost membrane. In a plant cell there is also the cell wall that we are going to uh, study uh, after this. So what is the function of the cell membrane? The cell membrane plays two main functions. And the first function is that uh, it controls the movement of substances. in and out of the cell. The cell membrane is the one that controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. And this is because it is selectively permeable. Selectively or you can say partially permeable. Number two, it encloses the contents of the cell. So the contents of the cell are enclosed by the cell membrane. We'll have a diagram of the cell membrane. So the cell membrane is made of a phospholipid layer. a phospholipid layer and a protein layer and a protein layer. 
Now, in between the protein layer, we have an opening that we call the pore, and it's the one that allows now the selective movement of substances in and out of the cell. So this is the structure of the cell membrane. So it's a double layer, that is a phospholipid layer and a protein layer. And the protein layer leaves an opening that we call the pore uh, that allows the movement of substances in and out of the membrane. So this is the inside and this is the outside. So that is as far as the cell membrane uh, is concerned. So we have the inside, outside the cell and inside the cell. The next uh, structure that will study is the cell wall and you can see that this is the outermost membrane or is the outermost wall in a plant cell. It is absent in animal cells. The cell wall is fully permeable. Fully permeable. Unlike, unlike the cell membrane. This one is fully permeable. It doesn't control the movement of uh, substances in and out of the cell. It is made of a carbohydrate called cellulose and that's why some books will call it cellulose cell wall uh, in terms of the function in terms of the function the cell wall is the one that gives the plant cell a definite shape gives the plant cell a definite uh, shape. So those are two cell structures that we have uh, studied. Number three, another important cell structure is the cytoplasm. And we can say that this is a jelly-like fluid in which cell organelles are found. In terms of the function, so this one is basically a fluid. One of the functions of the cytoplasm is that it is the site for chemical reactions. 
is the site for chemical reactions. And of course, it contains cell organelles and other inclusions. Other inclusions such as the starch grains in plant cells, glycogen in animal cells, and so on and so forth. So basically, uh, we have learned uh, the cell structures and their functions. Uh, and these cell structures are referred to as organelles. There are many. We have only picked uh, three of them. The first one is the cell membrane, which is the outermost membrane of an animal cell. It's also found in, a, in plant cells. Its function is to control the movement of substances in and out of the cell. And this is enabled by the fact that it is selectively permeable or it's partially permeable. So that means that it only allows some substances to get in, but not others. That's why it has the pore through which things can come from outside if they can fit through the pore and get inside the, the cell. It is also the one that encloses the contents of the cell. So the, the contents of the cell are, in the, are on this side. It's something that we have not, uh, oh yeah, we have labeled. This is the structure of the cell uh, membrane. Number two is the cell wall. Is the outermost wall in a plant cell. It is not found in animal cells. Uh, the cell wall is fully permeable. So this is uh, different from the cell membrane. The cell membrane was selectively permeable. Um, unlike the cell membrane, uh, it is made of carbohydrate called cellulose. So the cell wall is made of cellulose. And that's why sometimes it's referred to a cellulose cell wall. Um, the function of the cell wall, uh, it gives the plant cell a definite shape. Then we have the cytoplasm. Just a moment. We have the cytoplasm. This is a jelly-like fluid in which cell organelles are found. Uh, most of the cell organelles are found embedded within the cytoplasm. The function, it's the site for chemical reactions. Chemical reactions occur there. And it also contains the cell organelles, as mentioned earlier, and other inclusions. Other inclusions include starch grains, are also found there for the plant cells and other cells. And then we have glycogen for animal cells and other cells. So basically, uh, those are some of the structures found within, uh, within the cell. We look at more structures uh, the next uh, lesson. So we'll have a short assignment. So the assignments state the adaptations of the following cell structures to their functions. A, the cell membrane, uh, B, cell wall, and C, the cytoplasm. So when you are told to state the adaptations, you mention the structure, how it is modified to perform a certain function. So structure, modification, and function. So there are three things that are required when you are answering a question on adaptations. Any question on ad adaptations, you need to mention the structure, its modification, and function. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye.